Uh, okay, let's make another one. Um, it will turn up if it's going to turn up. Uh, right. There's that, and let's put that in here. And that might be enough to fire it. Do that glass a bit. There we go, perfect. So now we've got a bucket that we can fill with water. Must be carrot juice at least. So right, bucket of water. And let's get Gak up back up there. Gak up up there. A few of these on the way through. Mm. And let's Yeah, I was worried about that. Things have spawned while There's one down. Plenty revenge is mine. <sighs> okay. Right. We need some water here. And we actually need to create an infinity pool. If we, As soon as we do that, this becomes much easier. So we'll put one in there. And we'll head back down again. Get another bucket of water. And then we can stay up here. And then nothing will spawn up here while we're here. <sighs> We now know we're going to have to be incredibly careful down here because things will spawn. And we haven't lit it up quite well enough yet. But still, I think what I will do is I'll take that bucket and I'm just going to go and sleep in a bed and that's going to get rid of some of the problems. <sighs> oh, stress. Stress. Oh. Oh dear. I haven't even done the bottom bit yet. Oh. Where's my water gone? Have that at least. There we go. Right. Oh. Oh well, you guys, but I didn't need that. <laughs> Okay, now, if we can put three still water blocks in an L shape, like that, we've now created an infinity pool, so I can always take the center one, and it will come back. So knowing that, I can now use that to fill in all the rest of the water. And we can, we're almost ready to get this going. Up some torches because they're no longer needed. Yes, I'm having an intensely buggy day with this today. Now let's get another one of those. That there. Another bucket of water. Fight our way around this corner here. Gonna need to take this with me. And we'll put one in there. And one 
in there. We're nearly done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh. Oh. oh, whoops. Just noticed I'm really, really hungry. So, let's sort that out. Okay, and yep, yeah, still got the juicer. Which I celebrate. Yeah, celebrate the fact by throwing it away. Uh, let's get the strength up, because we're nearly done, and it'd be really quite annoying dropping dead for that reason. get this corner done. Like that. And could it be we are done? It could actually be we are nearly done. That will sort itself out when we fill in this hole. So right, let's start picking some things up. Let's start tidying up here. Where's my axe? about this here so let's just experiment with something and that now works correctly but that's unfortunately going to flood everything down there and that's not good at all Okay, I think once I straighten this corner out, that's not going to be a problem. And I think I might just go ahead and straighten that corner out now. So let's put a block in there. Yep, so that all comes out to the middle now. And yes, guys, I'm going to get out of here by testing the mob drop. So are we ready? Down we go. Ha, 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 ha. Right, let's get out of here before things start dropping on our heads. And then we can survey this and see what damage we've done to ourselves. Right. Um, the pumpkin seed is gone. That's not the end of the world. We've got more. And the rest of the farm looks alright, so I'm quite comfortable with that. Oh. Yeah, and we have drops. You can see you walking around in there. This needs to come down. So they drop in there, they get trapped, eventually they despawn unless we kill them. Oh, 
Oh, actually. Just have a quick run around here. See if we can find the places that have light issues. I think that was actually the bit that was having the light issues. Yeah, he's trying to get out there. You see, he's clipping into the wood, but he can't. Be on the safe side, let's get this area lit up a little bit more as well. Like that. Right, well, there we go. One mob drop. And what I need to do now, as you can see, actually some things are dying as they go down. We've already had a um, spider die there. So what I need to do now is just put a lowered area here so we can reach in. Kill things. Revenge is mine. There's an Enderman in there, how did it? Oh, the Enderman can actually spawn at the bottom there. Right. I can see you, you can't see me. Eventually what I will do is I will make this go down a little bit further. Um... I'll make this go down a little bit further so uh, the mobs are guaranteed to die and just put come on, where are you? There we go, you're dead. Um, and then just put uh, some collectors at the bottom of it and then the job's done. And But that's the next step is to make sure that I can actually reach in here and kill things and pick things up. So I spend a little bit of time and I end up with loads of gunpowder, bones, string, zombie flesh. Whatever you want. Simple as that. And we can make use of the zombie flesh immediately. Uh, put that into compost. And that gives us earth, which gives us stone, which gives us everything else. And the one thing I am going to do is take this. And I'm going to make a little hole here and that is <laughs> oh hell the noise muffler <laughs> right and it's nearly midnight so uh, let's see if we can do something quick but uh, I don't think that was the most exciting two hours of Minecraft, but it's certainly been productive, so I hope you will forgive me. Can't hear them, it's great. Not as satisfying when you hit them, mind. Yeah, I need to make this hole, these holes around here so I can get them if they're standing at the other end as well. So I need to dig in down here and down here and things like that. But uh, it's pretty much done. It's done enough, I think. Oh, it's a bow there. Don't need. Job's done. Well, thank you, Melody. That's really appreci appreciated. I'm glad people did enjoy this. And just back in time to say goodbye. Absolutely. Uh, oh, some creeper heads. That's uh, something we definitely need to do here before we go. Is let's add a creeper head to our um, memorabilia display here. We've got skeletons already. And if, oh, okay. I think. One of these needs to go up here, because that really sums the day up for me. And of course, 
Hint number two. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for hanging, hanging around for it. It's, uh, I do enjoy playing this. It's really good fun. So, all right, let's have a quick final look through here and let's have a look at some of the quests and see if there's anything we can do quickly. So we've done that. Doesn't lead on to anything else. The pastoral life. Ooh, 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 ooh. Spawn chicken, spawn squid. Oh, yes, we've got to make those. Right, spawn. Let's just see how we can make them. If we make them quickly, we'll make them. Spawn chicken. Um, can be made on a blood altar with a feather. Okay, so I don't think we'll only be making that one for a little while, but there is something I wanted to show here. We got some grass seeds. So if I place some earth down somewhere, I can place some uh, place some grass seeds on them. They will turn into grassy blocks. At least I hope they will. And if we do that far enough away from the house, we can start growing some chickens. So uh, we start getting some chickens, cows, sheep, things like that. Yes, the blood also will be coming. All right, let's have a quick look in the rest of this and see what else we got. So we're not spawning chickens immediately. We must go deeper once. Make an auto brewer. Um, the nether apparently in this game is absolutely terrifying. Uh, an angry doll will spawn a blaze if you right click a stone barrel of lava while holding a, the doll. Okay, that's interesting. And so uh, it looks like we can actually uh, get. Um, a brewing potion without going into the leather or at least I hope so. Uh there you are Flora, take care, see you soon. And what else have we got? Getting garabbly. We need to make some plastic sheets. Uh so it looks like we're gonna be growing from rubber trees. Is there anything else we can do in here? Storage walls. Okay, so we made a better barrel. Well, we've made lots of barrels, so we can make a structural Mark One uh, upgrade and a, a storage upgrade. So let's see if we can do those quickly. Okay, it looks like upgrades feature quite uh, prominently in here. So a structural storage upgrade. It's made with pistons. We don't have any redstone yet. And what was the other one? Structural Mark One. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, we can make one of those. Let's let's do one of those quickly just to see what it's like. Okay, we're gonna need some fences first and because this is 164 you make them the old way with two rows of sticks so like that and like that and that gives us a structural mark one and let's see can we apply that to a barrel Yes, we can. And now that has one upgrade slot. So there we go. That's that's the reason why we can put the storage upgrade in there. That's actually that's that's quite good. The storage upgrade is a load of pistons, so it obviously squashes it into place. Right. So we'll do that later on and finish that quest off. All right. Um, I think we are done here for now. Ah. Uh, Still just about here, the zombies. But let's go and get a little revenge on them, shall we? Oh, it looks like it's World War Creepers in there.
27. Yes, look at all this lovely stuff. Because if I've done this right, there is only one place that you can spawn on this island. And that is up there. Oh, starving. Oh, nearly dead. Good lord. I've got to pay more attention to that. Oh, please don't behave on my account. <laughs> okay, so we are just killing everything in there now. And... Yeah, that's looking good. And how we got about that? We got we got some heads. Oh, look, golden leggings. We got some trousers out of it that aren't going to chafe as much as these. And th oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, half a stack of rotten flesh already. And I've just been doing this for a minute. And all the experience points you can eat. All we need to do is do that for a couple of minutes. And it's going to be quite easy for me to start filling these up. No problems whatsoever. In fact, I think we're going to need more. How come the creepers won't explode? The creepers won't explode because they can't see you. In order for a creeper to explode, they need to see you. And they can't, so... They're thinking, well, okay, I'm just going to stand around in here. Oh, look, what's happening to my feet? And also, everything is really easy to kill because it's fallen 20 blocks. Which means it's all, everything has lost 18 hit points of its 20. Uh, because the falling rules are the first two are safe. But every uh, block you fall after that, you lose a hit point. Each heart is two hit points. So, tw falling 20 blocks will lose you 18 hit points. See what is that? There you go. We've already got some wood out of uh, some dirt out of it. We've got plenty of rotten flesh. I've got some really smart trousers. I think, all in all, that's been quite a good run, hasn't it? those away okay and um, interested to see how many heads I get out of this because this uh, um, this pan of destiny now is leveled up to the point where it gets a, a, a beheading bonus as well so there we go I got one death out of that almost gave myself a nervous breakdown but all in all, I think actually that was a very successful day. So I'm quite happy with that, I think. Oh, and look at all the bone meal we've got. Excellent, excellent, and excellent. So I think we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to say goodnight. It is... Oh, it's nearly midnight, so we're not miss losing much. Uh, I hope you guys have had fun. I certainly have, and I've certainly enjoyed you guys being around. Um... This will all be up on uh, YouTube over the next few days. Uh, so if you've missed anything or you want to see it again, you know where to find it. Um, I'm sure we will be doing plenty of plastic, or at very least rubber sheets. There's rubber sheets out there, I think. Uh, we're going to be doing lots of jokes about that, I'm sure. So until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Minecraft Agrarian Skies. Thank you and good night.